We are going to show you our evening oral hygiene routine. Because one thing about a lot of people with disabilities, I'm not saying all, but a lot of them, is that it takes an inordinate, inordinate? I was thinking about that word. It takes a lot of time to do grooming activities. Brushing the teeth, flossing, washing the face, taking showers. Uh, what's interesting about Dan and I is that the things that Dan can do are the very things that I can't do. So, for instance, Dan can go to the bathroom on his own. Dan can get dressed and undressed on his own. And I would even say, go so far to say that he's really good at that. He, what else can he do? Uh, well, he can walk. That, that's a big one. I, uh, mm, uh, mm, oh, he can lift really heavy things. I, I, I can't do that. So, Dan, wait, you wanted to have some video proof. That you can. help me? Can you show them how you help and, and pass over the trash can <laughs> so I can throw away my floss pick? Which, by the way, to our three viewers out there who watch us thus far, hopefully we'll have many more, many more viewers. I know these aren't the most environmentally friendly things, but my God, these are. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> these are awesome. Okay. I would never floss if it weren't for these floss picks. I will never floss if now for Dan has, has grown leaps and bounds with his oral hygiene. I'll admit. Right. I mean, his, his gums are fantastic. No signs of gingivitis whatsoever. And when I met him, lots of bleeding blood with gums. Not, 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 not the best. Mm. But these little suckers, they're by gum, and these are absolutely the best floss picks I've ever used. I've tried Plackers, I've tried Oral B, I think there are some Oral B ones. I've tried different gum ones, but these are superior. Okay? You know, people say, I can't use those because my teeth are too tight. Same problem. These will go through them. I can't use them because they get caught and they shred. These won't shred. They don't get caught. I can't use them because... Where are some of the other excuses? Huh? Oh, they pop off. They, like, literally come off. These don't do that. Okay, like, one in a thousand. I don't know how much. Occasionally, they will pop off. And that would be hilarious if tonight when I'm flossing you, mm. they pop. We're going to show how Dan gets his teeth flossed. So, as I mentioned earlier, the very things that he can't do, I can do. Now, we're talking fine motor skills things, okay, such as flossing the teeth, brushing the teeth, cutting nose hairs, cleaning the ears, shaving the face. Uh, during COVID times, you know, cutting his hair, trimming his beard. We'll show you all that stuff. Hopefully it'll be helpful to you. And a note about this, some people might say, well, that's, that's a lot to do for each other. And Dan does other things for me, okay? That's just, we will get to those in later episodes. But to that, I want to respond that I think it's, it's actually a gift to be able to help someone in the way that we help each other because I think it's only deepened our bond and shows how close we are as a couple to each other. And so some of you may think it's a lot of work. Um, I don't see it as work. Look <laughs> here. <laughs> Unbelievable. We have some work to do. So I get a tissue and I get a floss pick for Dan and we go to town with the floss picks and they work really well. 
Oh, another thing, Dan is come closer. Mm. Dan is particular about when this this routine takes place. It can't be. <laughs> <laughs> Dan does not like when flossing happens later than the hour of what, like nine thirty. We're already at like a quarter of ten or ten already tonight. So Dan's a little snippety. He he's like an eighty year old man. At the age of 39. Uh, That's a running joke. Okay, ready? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you're not drunk. Lying down. You're, you're trying to create suspense? Yeah. And yeah, keep the viewers yeah. on their edge of their seat. Uh, okay, yeah. come on. This is another thing. Dan's a rather, you know, taciturn person, if you will. Someone who is not readily one to <laughs> talk for long periods of time. But the minute I want to get through the flossing, he just wants to tell me all about his day. And please from, from the, Okay, come on. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the floss in. Come closer. And I pop it in, you hear like a pop. And I move it back and forth. That's what you're supposed to do when you floss. And then you pull it out and there's a lot of like food debris crew. It's gross people, but you fold it over and you keep going on a clean part. Pass over the, the basin. So we're all done our flossing. And then we do our electric toothbrush brushing. Which is awesome. Dan, how do you feel about your electric toothbrush? I like now, no. And what? <laughs> yeah, Dan doesn't like the splatter that electric toothbrushes do. That's why we wear these towels on our lap to try to capture as much. But it, sometimes it's inevitable, it splatters. Oh, by the way, nifty trick. If you're hurting for money and you're trying to uh, <laughs> make your toothpaste do go a distance, you cut off the bottom and you can still scrape it in there. It's probably not the most hygienic, but it, do, it does the job. Why do you think she'd be disappointed? Yeah. Kristen's her sister-in-law. She's a dental hygienist. Yeah. She probably doesn't approve of this. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Don't abandon or neglect your tongue. Holds lots of nasty bacteria, odor causing bacteria, particularly in the back of the tongue. And so, Dan has a cute little tongue. Oh, 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 Do you want to rinse and show the results? Um, yeah. <laughs> Can you see yourself? <laughs> Can you see yourself? Oh my God. And there you have it. Our clean.